back to my channel, Illustrating Failure. If you haven't been here before, my name is Janie and I'm just a new freelance illustrator trying to make it in the world of freelancing and also trying to make it in the world in general. And so this channel is pretty much just about me like documenting my journey as I try different things to survive freelancing. And so for today's video, I have a day in the life with me. And today I'm just showing you my schedule on like a regular work day. Um, I start my day at 5 a.m. and I end at 9 p.m. And it's just um, a process of me trying to um, become disciplined in working at home and being uh, the most productive that like I can for myself. And so the filming process for today, um, it didn't really go as I was planning to go. It might like not seem um, super obvious when um, you guys will see it. But then I do talk about some of my feelings um, near the end of my recording. And it was just because it was a really uh, emotional day for me, but I still needed to do this because I really wanted to have um, this content for you guys. And so in that sense, I guess this um, day in the life with me video, um, besides discipline, is also like how uh, discipline can get you through um, a lot of like emotional ups and downs as well, um, since I am um, a very emotional person. And so yeah, stay tuned and I will see you guys at the bright and early start of my day. Okay, so my day starts at about 5 a.m. And in the beginning, it was really difficult to get up so early in the morning. But previously, I had purchased like a sunlight or a sunrise alarm clock and that's really helped me um, get up. And what the sunrise alarm clock does is pretty much it just like half an hour or something before the time that you want to get up, it'll just slowly um, get brighter and brighter just like how like a sun would rise in real life and so that way by the time your alarm goes off it's really bright in your room and so you're not as groggy um, when you wake up so after my alarm goes off um, I turn on my lamp so that way I can turn off like my sunrise alarm and then I just you know chill in bed for a little bit as I'm trying to wake up still and after that I go do my morning routine I wash my face every morning because it helps me wake up and I think it's really important to get your day started with like a good um, morning ritual so that you can feel like refreshed in the beginning of the day and like sometimes I would do my makeup sometimes no but I think doing like makeup or like you know it's kind of like a routine that feels like I'm going somewhere and like it does feel more structured like I'm um, going to work. So the next part of the morning is just getting dressed and I kind of have like a capsule wardrobe thing going on where I put together an outfit for every single day of the week and I just found that doing this it saves so much decision making in the morning because a lot of the times trying to figure out what to wear takes so much energy out of me that I end up just staying in my pajamas for the entire day, which in the beginning I thought was cool because, you know, I'm working from home. But I found that, you know, if I'm in my pajamas, it's just really easy for me to go back and lay in bed for like the entire day instead of sticking it out on my desk. And so I found that like it was really important for me to have that separation between like work and leisure in terms of my clothing gotta be quiet now because my roommate is still sleeping. I do open the door a little bit so that Taro can come down if he wants to a little bit later. And then afterwards I just go downstairs and I make myself some breakfast. Pants are falling down. <laughs> make myself some breakfast. It depends on which mornings but usually I just make some eggs, some coffee, and like some toast and you know. It's a good start to the day. 
coffee really helps get me going and some apple an apple a day keeps the doctors away got me some bagels this morning with some of my fake cream cheese and this fake cream cheese is pretty good I enjoy it I do try to have like protein in the morning just because like it helps build me up um, a little bit longer than just carbs and then funny enough like as soon I don't know how he knows like Taro Lin's dog just knows exactly um, when I put my plate down on the coffee table to like eat and so he would wait until I sit at the table and then he comes down and then like chills with me for a while until I clean up everything and like go upstairs and um, yeah, I guess I wasn't really supposed to do this, but he kind of just sits there sometimes. This was like a month ago. And afterwards, I give him some some treats uh, with his dog food to, you know, get him used to being told what to do by me for a little bit. And also the dry food helps like, I think helps calm his stomach in the morning. And then afterwards, when I start cleaning up, he just pieces out. And so after eating, I clean up for a bit and then I go upstairs with my coffee and my water into like my little office space in Lynn's old closet. And then sometimes I like plan my day the night before, but today I'm just doing it the day of. And it's Thursday, November 12th that I filmed this. And so I'm just making a list of everything that I need to do um, in this day. And then afterwards, I split up my tasks uh, based on like what time it is and like how much time I think each thing will do. I do try to um, plan in a time for exercise every single day. Um, and on the most part, I try to stick to it, but some days it's just way too busy. And I, you know, if I don't get to a thing on my schedule, like I try not to beat myself. I think that's the most important part is to not beat myself up or beat yourself up over it because like you know it's just constant trial and error and so yeah here's my like life schedule um when i was trying to reorganize my life so like i have about 12 hours of work time that's allotted here and like exercise for about like an hour hour and a half depending on like what I'm doing and I also have some leisure time planned out I just found putting my work time in the morning to be so much more productive than later on in the day just because in the morning there's like no distractions or things that has happened throughout the day to affect your mood for work and ever since I started doing that, I've just been able to focus so much better. <laughs> this next part is me uh, filming the studio tour, but I might refilm that because the footage is really shaky because I wasn't really used to the camera yet at this point. All right, gonna go make some lunch because I'm hungry. I think I will have some spicy instant noodles even though I had that yesterday I kind of just want it again because it's addicting and I keep on getting destroyed by it but you know I just, I just can't stop I used to go for like the regular um, Korean spicy instant noodle but after like my roommate Charlotte um, introduced me to a cheesy one I just just couldn't go back, it's so good. Okay. I dropped a piece of instant noodle and I went to go pick it up and then I was like, whoa! I mean this instant noodle is like levitating. Look at that. Is this sorcery? Is this sorcery? Yeah. Oh yeah, the spicy noodles and the egg. 
Yeah, boy! Somebody is back again. Back again! Ta da! Just gonna take my food. Yep, and now it's time for me to eat my food. My, my glasses getting foggy. This is like a winter's day or another day of going outside in a face mask. And so after lunch, I'm back at it again with a couple hours of work before going off to do my daily exercises. Hello, so currently it is almost 3 p.m. and yeah, usually I do exercise around 2 p.m. which is on my schedule. However, you know, things come up and today it's gonna be a little bit later if you see my makeup is a little bit messed up that's because I was making up with my roommate we've been fighting and we've been sad but now we're better in a better place <laughs> so yeah um, gonna exercise now because um, I realized cuz for some weeks um, I was kind of lazy and when I'm busy I <clears throat> skipped out on exercise but that really like wrecked my arm because I think I talked a little bit about my injury in my arm um, where like I need constant stretching because of like all the typing and desk work that I do and so like when I do get lazy on that part my body is like unforgiving so yeah I'm gonna start now so I've been doing the Chloe Ting workouts, um, I just really like her videos. And I did some of her workouts before and I wanted to try to do some like more routine ones. And so I think I'm on day 6, oh 45 minutes, alright let's go. I think the exercising also really helps in you know, managing my stress throughout the day. Like if I'm having a really stressful day of like working, um, just working out and pushing my body helps me to reset in a sense, um, that stress. And in a way, like I like if I could get through this workout for myself, then I can get through anything else throughout the day. And then when 5 p.m. rolls around, I just mosey on downstairs and I make some dinner. And you know, it's nice to eat something a little bit like more fancy at the end of the day to like treat yourself to like a nice meal. This says stewing pork, but it kind of just kind of just looks like pork bellies. So I don't really. I don't really know the difference. I'm just gonna try to cook it like uh, pork belly and see how it goes. And sometimes I like to steal some of my roommate's food as well. We like take turns cooking occasionally and you know it's it's fun to share food and just eat something that's not your own cooking sometimes. But I gotta say, my cooking skills really went up during COVID, like in that first period, you know, I was doing a lot of moping, but I was also doing a lot of cooking. But to be honest, this dinner didn't come out very well because I was way too distracted and, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. It looks delicious though. And then after dinner, you know, sometimes we'd hang out for a bit, watch some TV, or like, just go back to work for a little bit, plan the rest of my day. But sometimes if I'm too tired, I just go to bed too. Kiss. Hey y'all, so this is the first day that I've ever like done a vlog uh, for so long before. Um, I don't, today was definitely an interesting day. Was not 
fully what I had anticipated this video or what I wanted to show you guys to look like. I think, uh, well right now it's like about 8pm which is kind of like nearing the end of my work day. Usually around this time, uh, if I do have a lot of work, I would continue working. But it's been a long day so I'm just wrapping up some uh, loose ends in terms of tasks. Getting ready for to plan out what I need to do tomorrow. And probably just take a shower and just go to bed soon. Pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I think today, uh, well, as I was saying, it's like not really what I was expecting it to go down because even though like I made this channel um, to show, you know, things can go wrong and you're trying all these things but like, you know, like you have to fail some to win some. And even though like that was the whole premise, I still like had this idea of like, you know, how exactly I was going to show my day and even though it was like ironic in my own mind too because I saw it as like a perfect video but just there was so many things in the air today like um, so I was like pretty sad the whole time but I think the difference being that um, having like this schedule and having work to do Whereas like in the past, I would be uh, probably just be in bed all day and like be unable to work because of like, you know, like feelings and like other things because I was like in the past, sometimes I was like in a bad place. But because of like having a schedule and like, you know, like knowing it's like even though I'm not, I feel like I don't feel like working, like knowing that I have all these things to get done. Even though technically there's like no real deadline for a lot of things, like you know, like these this video, this YouTube channel is like my own thing. I haven't even like published a video yet, so right now I'm just literally talking at myself, but whatever, like I'm rambling. Yeah, I think it's just it's just having the schedule um really keeps a structure in place so that even when I am at like a very, very emotional low, I am able to keep going. Like, just my body is like, okay, like this is what you do next. Even though, you know, my mind's like, oh, I'm so tired. Like, you know, my heart's like, no, Janie, I'm sad. Like, I don't want to do anything. But then like, because of the schedule, my body is like, oh, it's time to work next. You know, working out is next. And then like you gotta do this, 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 like you there's there's like things there's things coming up. And like I always think back to my second year, um like third year class, I <laughs> well one of the things that he said to us um was to kind of like be able to draw and to be able to do things um not based on emotions or like how you feel but just being able to do it regardless of like how you're feeling um I thought like that was something that was profound in my mind um because you know I am well, I don't want to say am and I don't want to say was because you know like and I'm I can change at any moment you know I'm a human being but for most of my life, even now, I am a very emotional being. Um, I do, I am able to hide it very well in some cases. And when I am trying to hide it, sometimes I might come off as like a little bit cold because, you know, like I'm trying to like hold down that like raw like in me or like the raw like ooh in me. Um, but just try, like, I think it's just over the years of trying to, like, control my emotions and, you know, those kinds of issues, it just, I, I think this is the first time I've felt some kind of success in terms of, like, 
maturing and you know being able to deal with things more maturely I think is something that like quarantining and like you know being backed into that corner and being having to make the choice or like trying to find a way to like adapt and evolve in this environment because before like I always um, would set schedules or try to set schedules or like I would try different things but like I could never I, I could never commit to them and I was like like there's no way that's not me like I can't like I just I literally can't do it and so I do everything else to like you know like forgo that or just avoid it and my boyfriend he would always be like Jenny, like, make a schedule, you need to make a schedule. I was like, no, I will not, I will not make a schedule. I can't do it. And even when I make a schedule, like, my entire body would just, like, go to, like, fighting that schedule. You know, I would be like, okay, I need to get up at, like, <laughs> before it's, like, 11. I have to, like, get up at, like, 8 or something. And then my whole being was like, no, I don't want to do it. And even if I, like, get myself up at 8, even though I had planned out the day, like, just making my bed itself was, like, was, like, productivity for me. So after making my bed or, like, doing the laundry, like, my day was shot because, you know, I've done that one productive thing. And then when my deadlines do come up, I'm like, oh, no. And so, you know, I, like, put in all this, like, time and, like, compressed time, effort, and concentration. And I'm usually able to, like, slip right on through um which probably like wasn't really good like in hindsight because that just promoted me being like since i'm like oh i've been doing it this whole time like it'll work for me forever but i think when push comes to shove and i was um at like my lowest low it to to pull me out of that place and um, being able to, like, unable to control um, my own emotions and how uh, to be productive. Like, setting a schedule, like, and just being able to, like, stick to it. Like, obviously, like, I wasn't able to do, I wasn't able to get up at, like, five right away. Like, it took me time. Um, but when now that I'm it's been it's been about a month and I've kind of like gotten into it like it's waking up at five is just like waking up at any other time before and it's brought it, it makes it brought a lot of control I guess is the word to say it in my own life because before I thought I knew me but I, I mean, even now, I don't, I don't really know, I don't really know me, like, I know, I think I know myself a little bit better, I hope, but, um, not as well as I would like to, and I would like to keep on learning more about me, maybe, like, scheduling's not for you at this point in your life, but I, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm, like, an expert on, like, you know, like, getting organized or, like, getting your life together. But I am, like, a layman who have tried these things that, you know, all the experts have, you know, said tried and true, um, which I was, like, a naysayer before, but now that I've actually, like, tried it and, like, actually committed, I think there was just a level of commitment to the schedule. It has really helped me and I think even just keeping to trying and like persisting to making a schedule that works for you like that is ultimately um, what will give you more control over your own life and like there's some things you can't change and there's some things that you just you know that can't control but I think sometimes what you can do with um, your free time and like the time that you have um, just having like some sort of control 
over yourself during that time um, is really helpful for uh, mental health. Hold up, my boyfriend's calling. And I think like, I mean, my work day is like a little bit odd too because technically my schedule, like, I don't have a day off. Every day is working. And I think that is like a part of like freelancing. Um, maybe like the the gods of like illustration or the gods of like freelancing like they have you know their eight hour work day and they're done but for someone like me who is like at the bottom of the totem pole still just like trying to get my foot like somewhat in the door um having like having a weekend like it's just especially during quarantine where am I gonna go like it's just like there's there's no point there's no point <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think that's healthy. That's not healthy to say. You should you should go have your weekends. But just for me, like, I think I'm just more productive. Um, when I'm like in that, in that like, what is it called? On that role, I'm on that role of like working, and especially since like my roommates are like all freelancers and like, they're working literally all the time. So I'm like, it's it's like a little bit easier for me anyways, and so. We hang out while working, so like it's kind of like you're playing and working at the same time. So like every day is a weekend, but also every day is a work day, which is like kind of messed up. But yeah, I mean one day, you know, hopefully with the with hard work and like with further discipline and like you know, I'm I'll be able to like get some more jobs and to, um, you know, juggle everything. Yeah, but I think, yeah, with the schedule, like, I'm just able to take on more things and, like, get things done more efficiently. And honestly, like, with the scheduling, like, my productivity has gone, like, way up because before it was, like, But now it's like more like a constant and sometimes it's like an up, sometimes it's like a more down, but even when it's down, it's still an up. And so yeah, that's my day guys. You can see my struggle, um, lots of different moods at um, different points of this video. But so yeah, that's, that's just how the cookie crumbles. And so if you like this video, please remember to leave me a like. And if you want to see more things like this or check out some of my other videos, I have some tutorials and some talks about like, you know, life after art school. You can check that out too. And I will see you guys next time on Illustrating Failure. Bye. Thank you again.